Nation. Welcome back to Strictly Business, episode 24. Sorry, it looked like we had a big bark issue. <laughs> looked, I think it was a Ryan yeah. issue, but yeah. are your glasses They're working? Muted Ryan the whole show. <laughs> it didn't work. It no, didn't work. no. How are you? I'm good. You? I'm good. That's like through the teeth. Good. I'm no, good. I'm, I'm going to slap you in a second. I just did, I did a little muffin here. Nice. Yeah. No, I'm all right. It's How was your Monday. weekend? Weekend was eventful. Yeah. What mm-hmm. does that mean? So my husband and I were at a family reunion. His so family reunion was this weekend. And uh, we decided to play bags and kind of have a mini tournament. Oh, boy. Which was great because we won the first game. Were you on the same team together? We were playing together. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we were playing against his cousin and and his wife. So Tim and Chris, nice work. Um, Tim kept, though, so he, they would always get like they were going to win. Yeah. And he would bust them. Like, so <laughs> sure. Chris was finally giving up. She was like, Tim, whatever, you can't play, whatever. So we won. We ended nice. up winning two out of three. And Larry, and I have no idea why, says to me, let's do a chest bump. What? <laughs> I said, sure. <laughs> there was no alcohol in this okay. being. So he went up, I and I have to jump higher because he's taller yep, than me, yep. right? So I go up. Yeah. And you know those, you know when you see, and it's in cartoons, it's in movies, but when somebody gets affected by a blast yeah, and right. they kind of go straight back <laughs> yeah. and their feet are... Vertical, Straight or out. horizontal, yeah, horizontal. One. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. parallel with the ground. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> and then I came square down on nice. my tailbone. So <laughs> you're in pain. I'm in a lot of pain oh, today. Boy. Oh, <laughs> so, boy. Yeah. And then he just stood over me like this. What happened? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm like, well, something happened. I like <laughs> flew off of you. So I don't know if I put too much force into it yeah. or what I probably. Well, I'm glad you made it. I made it though. Yeah. And everybody's looking at me laying on the ground. They're like, I heard that. Did she hit her head? I'm like, no, that was my tailbone. So Yikes. Anyway. Good. I'm glad so you made it. That was my weekend. Episode. Yeah. Cool. How was your weekend? Good. Had some you got soccer. You to hang with your dad. I did. Oh yeah. I had that on Friday, Saturday, then had some soccer on Sunday. Yeah. I'm also sore because he chooses to play every racket sport in existence when we go there. And if you haven't played pickleball, like which is oh, taking yeah. over the country right now, apparently it's insane. Like we showed up at a place in Wassa that looked like a tennis court, but had like 16 pickleball courts had been, and I think Green Bay had just renovated one too. It's nuts. It's crazy. Yeah. So my in-laws, when they had a place in Texas, um, everybody there would play pickleball. Yeah. And I think one of their friends, she like fractured her hand or something, or her leg, she did something, broke a leg, yep. playing pickleball. Yeah, it's aggressive. And these are all retired people. Yeah, so like, I and I, like, I played racket sports my whole life, thanks to my dad, but like, I'm one of those people that just has no patience to let it go back and forth. I just want to hit the ball really hard. Um, so like, and there's a bunch of older retired folks there and I'm like, boy, I don't want to hit somebody. And like you step out there and they just run circles around you and hit you with everything. I'm like, well, I did not expect this. So <laughs> it was a lot of fun, but also sore because it went from table tennis to pickleball to pop a shot to it just nonstop. Right. Cause he tried to do everything he could in the window. I was there and beat me at every just game. So, possible. you know, pop a yeah. shot. Shot is not a racket sport. No, it is not. So okay. that is a good disclaimer. Okay. Papa Shot is not a racket sport. Just, if you look if you that try one to up, use, so. yeah, if you try to use one, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't. You can't. So he beat you. Dad, Dad still has game. I got him one out of ten table tennis games. So we always joke. Anytime I beat him, he smashes the ping pong ball to make sure there's no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> the ball survived dad. this time, but I did get one out of 10. He just plays racket sports really well. So yeah. again, because it's a patience thing, I don't have it. Like it'll go back yeah. six, seven times. Like I had had enough and then I'll try and hit a winner and usually miss. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. And you got a soccer as well. We did. Yeah. And I'll give a, um, a shameless plug too. So we played out at Mac Rock and those of you folks that haven't checked out Mac Rock, it's out in Howard. It's a new indoor training facility for soccer and athletes so they have some incredible technology that helps with reflexes and some great just technological soccer gear so there's like a targeting wall um there's uh two rings that you 
basically work on your passing and footwork speed. So it's just some real cool technological training soccer stuff, but it was their first three V three out there. So played in a three V three tournament cadence did. So it was cool. How'd she do? Uh, they took second. It should be, it should be a different sport, like with shorter fields and different goals. Like it's just not yeah, played when like you're typical only three soccer. Three. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you, sh you can't shoot from the defensive half of the field because kids with legs would be shooting the length of the field the whole time. And yeah. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So it was cool. I hope most of those kids had legs. They did. <laughs> did you see the but, way they um, did there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. One of us is awake. One of us is not. Yeah. Both of us are in pain. <laughs> yeah. And you, not you just probably from, can't lift your arm up, right? Arms are okay. It's just like my back of my legs from just back and forth the net nonstop is what I think did it in. So did you have yeah. flip flops on? No, I did not. I wore okay. tennis shoes. Thanks for asking. Okay. So. Just making sure. I did. I had a disclaimer before I went saying, please bring tennis shoes. So good. good. All right. Well, now that we've gotten all the pleasantries out of the way. Yes. <clears throat> Cause football because we, we didn't open with football no no so clearly everyone has figured out if you didn't watch the game this weekend tough loss okay tough okay. loss all right it was a beating yeah it was a beating um and we should probably talk about playoffs because i think there's people out there that think oh you just have to win and you're right. good to go and it's not that easy. And if no clear winner emerges from all this, the two-man sack race will be held on consecutive Sundays until a champion is crowned. It's not that easy. No. It did, it did come to our advantage that Sioux Falls lost yeah. to Iowa. That did help us, but it didn't give us a shoe-in. Um, yeah, we're currently in ninth. Yes. We're, or tied for eighth. I can't remember. What we've it talked is. on the show a bazillion times about the mutual respect for Sioux Falls and Riggs and crew, and they are great. I don't know what happened in that game, though. That game was upside down at halftime. Sioux Falls was running away with it, and that must have been a 40 point swing for Iowa to come. It was back a big in that swing. It was crazy. Third quarter yeah. was yep. crazy. Yep. Fourth quarter, even more. Yep. Yeah. So. Because I was watching that. I'm like, ah, oh, we're going down. Sioux Falls is going to win. Yeah. We're out. We're right, out. That, We're that just done. Put it out. There was no scenario of us yep. winning this week that would have mattered then. No. Nope. And then all of a sudden, I checked the final of the Sioux Falls Iowa game. I'm like, what the heck just happened? So Is it made right? this coming week really interesting. So right. right. And so now they're coming off of a loss. Yep. They're going to play at home. It's do they get in? They're in, right? They're in. I don't. If we win, I don't. Because then that knocks so them out. We have verbal confirmation. I do not know the math behind it, mostly because I don't know math, but actually because I did ask someone else to. <laughs> so for us to 100% lock in, and I believe it would be the eighth seed from what I've been told, right? It is we win in Sioux Falls, and Tucson needs to win as well. So, and that gets us number eight. Because I think if Tucson wins, and again, I don't know because it's real messy right now. I think it knocks Sioux Falls out of the playoffs. Because Tucson, Tucson's Sioux Falls, in. and us, and, Sioux, and Duke City and are all in the same right. we situation have, We have here, the same so. win percentage, yep. but not the same tiebreaker yep. lineup. So I believe outside of the really weird other B, C, D, E, F scenarios. Yeah. We win. Tucson wins. We're in. Yeah. So in the eighth seed, which right now would head to Arizona. I don't believe that's a lock yet. That comes down to this week, too, because I think Arizona, Frisco, Mass are all in the same boat for the one seed for the entire playoffs. Right. Because right now, Frisco has it. I think Arizona has it. It'd be Arizona, Frisco, Frisco Spokane, Mass. Mass. Yeah. Yeah. So but we, we do think, know that. I don't think Spokane can get it because Arizona just beat Spokane this right. weekend. Yep. Right. 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 Yep. So, but those are our top four. Yep. Yes. So th that is where all the playoff games Correct. will be played. So yep. we, if we're in eighth, we would be going to Arizona. I just think it's, if we make it in, that's where we're going. Yep. Because we're going to Arizona. So. Crazy. Yeah. It's like watch a bunch of games this weekend to figure it out. So the and the Blizzard Two Falls game is game of the week. So So we get to see it again on stadium. Right, right. And it's and I mean we've talked about it here again. That's a history game. We have never beat them. Period. And then we're gonna try and do it at home <laughs> yep. their home. Yep. It's gonna be interesting. So Corey's got his week ahead of him is we were gonna do some fun stuff yeah. and we're not anymore. 
um, because he's in game mode. Yep. And then we we're a some. little dinged up, so I think it shifted practice around a bit. So they're, I think, practicing later in the week to give some recovery time. So yeah. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. I I did put the feelers out to see if we get a watch party, but that there's all sorts of problems. That's state fair. That's home game for the Packers. It is a state mess. State fair. State or, fair. Sorry, Brown County fair. Yeah. Sorry. Brown County. It is a mess at sports bars locally, yeah. and replay is across from the fairgrounds, yeah. which is normally our stomping ground. So, yeah. You don't want everybody to come over to your backyard and. I mean, there's enough room that we could get fun flicks out there. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> We could just get a parking lot and see if somebody's got a beer truck and popcorn and ice clouds and take over our parking lot. We would just, we'd have to charge per head <laughs> to offset fun flicks and food trucks. And <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be maybe cheap. for a playoff game. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but like we well, also should have access to our sports bars if there's a playoff game. Right. So, yeah. Right. Well, we'll see. I mean, won't there be a Packer game? The third, up? the first round of the playoffs falls on the third Packer preseason game, which is the away game. The away one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe. Yeah. Maybe. A whole know. bunch of maybes. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff going on. Yeah. How are we doing on, uh, you know, I wanted to talk, and we didn't talk a lot about it last time other than it's been moved up. Um, we have to get our footballs in. Yeah. And we might, I don't know, if it comes down to, we're fighting over a design. Maybe we'll let them choose, but it's sure. like down to the wire. Yeah. The designs have to be in in the next two weeks, I think. Yeah, we'll probably look at those this week and decide how many of what style we're going to order. And if we order them with a partner logo in time or blank or, I mean, there's really only three or four that that affect because Kids Dental has most of the home game balls. So we're talking about a military night ball that might have an additional logo this year that we're just kind of, and that one's also the last game of the season. So I don't even know if we would need that on the first boatload now that I think about that, but yeah, we, we like to get them get all at once. Yeah. Just, it adds cost to your point to print on it when it gets here versus right. having it printed before it right. gets here. But everything else is cruising. We're just waiting on the opener one that Kathy and I have shenanigans on. That's the really clock one. So to see if we get somebody on what will be the cool one Yeah. that we saw this weekend without spoiling it. And I thought it looked sharp. So mm -hmm. I think it. I think it's going to be cool. Blizzard fans are feeling ambitious. Go watch some games this weekend and see what ball doesn't look like the others. But <laughs> which one of these is not like the other? Yeah, that's another Sesame Street. Team. Yes. All right. Well, so this is episode twenty-four, coming to the end of our season. It's the Picari Triggs episode. Look at that. <laughs> look at how you tied that in, Mr. Triggs. Yep. He's a good player. Yep. He was a. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, in 19. So reigning Defensive Rookie of the Year. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's not a rookie anymore. No. But, but uh, very good ball player. Um, but my point is, we're going to keep doing this even when we're not in season, correct? Most likely. So, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? I mean, I'll be here. Oh, It's just a okay. big bark does their thing. And oh, that's true. We do have to rely on big bark. The biggest of barks, yeah. Yes, because when I say big bark, you say... Woof. Yes. Excellent. Good. Okay, what else you got? We unpacked my whole weekend in five minutes. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I have a pet peeve. Okay. I'm just saying. I yep. got a pet peeve. So I had an appointment this morning that I had to go to. Yep. And I'm getting onto the highway. And so we're parked, you know, waiting for the light to change. And this... BMW, and I'm only saying it's a BMW because they pissed me off. Okay. I like BMWs, but this <laughs> white BMW with tinted windows, license plate number eight. Oh, I can't. <laughs> decides to just roll down her window and throw her garbage out. Oh. People start pollution. People can stop it. Oh, no. Now, you know how I feel about garbage going into <laughs> other people's garbage cans. That's yes. one thing. Yep. But this, there was no reason for this. So she, what, she doesn't want the litter in her car, so she throws it out the window? That's not good. I mean, had to roll her window down, toss it out. I, I really wanted to because we were sitting there and she would have went to the bathroom if I had done it. If I was going to go pick it up and like knock on her window and hand it back to her that maybe she dropped yeah. it on accident. Oh, boy. But that's a pet peeve of mine. Come on, people, you don't need to litter. You don't you don't need to litter. Not at all. Yeah. So 
Or put it in other people's garbage cans, according to you. I'm that guy, though, so I'm not going to fight you on that one. So so I'm okay unless you're emptying the back seat of your car, as that I explained I the do. last I'm time. I'm just talking about the little garbage that my kids dump cups in, and then I, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's different. Okay. That's different. And you go to Quick Trip, and you yes. throw it in the garbage. It's usually a gas station garbage dump. Exactly. Yes. I'm talking about going into a store. Okay. Yeah, if you have to pass through the entry doors. <laughs> yeah. To dump it in a garbage, that's a penalty. It's a no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so apparently most of my pet peeves have to do with trash. That's fair. So just trash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you have one on the airplane that was not trash related, though. Oh, that Rewinding was the guy with the, episodes, alar- the alarm. Yeah, phone. that was his alarm. Speaking of prior episodes, when I was hanging out this weekend in Wausau, I think I said I was born in a different city than I was. <laughs> Episode Where did 22. you say you were born? Pretty sure we were Cedar talking Rapids. about Cedar Rapids. And I was actually born in Ames, Iowa. So we have a problem. We have a legit fact check of not knowing my so, city of birth. So your dad clearly listens to the show. That was mom. Oh, I mean, mom let you know. Oh, um, so, yeah. yeah. So mom for sure. When she would know where you <laughs> she were born. I was born yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she got the state right. Yes, I did. I was in the right state. That's good. Yes. So. You just weren't in Cedar Rapids. Yeah, it was Rapids. bad though. I was like, huh, I wonder if I did say that. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You did say Cedar Rapids. Not I was Cedar like, Rapids. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Now that that's cleared up. Cleared it up. Fact I checked feel, myself on that one. Feel much better. Yeah. Well, actually your mom fact checked you. Yeah. 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 It's usually a pretty legit fact check. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got for next week? Next week, we'll talk about whether or not we're in the playoffs, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Or so, we're wrapping the season and on with unpacking the cool plans and footballs. And it'll be. So a- next week or this coming weekend, that game is on. Five or something happens <laughs> that nobody seven and, knows about. Like, between yeah. seven and seven forty-five. Yeah. That was a cheap shot, but like you had messaged me and like the game time switch. I'm like no, and then I found the post of the game times. I'm like no, and then I see Selena caught it because she saw Frisco post, and I'm like yes, <laughs> the game time changed. So. Yeah, with no explanation. <laughs> yep. So we don't know if there was technical difficulty, right. stadium. Di- we have no idea. Right. Um, and neither did the fans no. that were sitting yeah, there yeah. and those that were all waiting for the game to start. Yep. So it was a cheap shot, but you know what? <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. Yep. I mean, and, and our productions have not gone swimmingly mm. with stadium, but it's a new. Yeah. It's a, it's a new thing that we're doing. And Beck Communications is putting all of that together. And, you know, that's tough. It's You're in different stadiums. You're in different arenas. You're all over the country so you don't know yeah. what you're gonna get right. whenever you get wherever you are so um you know shout out to them for continuing to get them to roll it's just don't change the game time no no that that's frustrating and so we thought it started at six eastern because yeah. originally you had said six eastern yeah i thought that was but i think you yeah. had them i did yeah yep Swap. So we're all like getting ready to I go mean, in at first, six and we're like eight o'clock. It, what do you mean? It doesn't start till eight. <laughs> your first warning signal should have been that I was dealing with numbers. <laughs> so. <laughs> East, west. <laughs> and yeah. directions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. I think like going forward, we'll unpack something new each episode. Maybe they look forward to 2022. Like we can talk about the new Bud Light Cave coming finally and so what that'll don't, entail. Don't unpack it was it. named this year, so it's out okay. there just what it'll right. be, where it'll be, and how it'll work. And how so. cool it's gonna be. I, yep. I that and maybe we can even get something up on the screen. I did, yeah. It'll be yeah, that'd do you be have cool. a mock up I of do that? have um photos of where it will be and so where the can, risers like, are point. pushed in and Look at, can we do that? Can we can we do that? Like there's a cold front moving in. <laughs> no? Okay. Maybe we don't know. When I say big bark, you say no. <laughs> <laughs> I say wolf, but he yeah. might say no. <laughs> he might say no, yes. <laughs> All right. Awesome. What else you got? I don't think I had anything else. I thought there was one more thing when we walked in that you said you had outside of a pet peeve. Well, News it was my story. story. It was okay. my my bouncing off of someone. Oh, God. You it. forgot already? Yeah. You forgot already I'm that I'm injured? You were in concussion protocol today. I might be. I think I have whiplash. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Oh, it boy. was quite the. It was, it was quite. <laughs> That's was a Larry just, special there. It was like just yeah. bouncing off. And then he, just, he said, Blondie, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Who else did I run into? <laughs> 
<laughs> but it was fun. It was a good weekend. We yeah. had a great time. Up at North Winds Adventure. Very cool. In Michigan. Blizzard Check partner it out. and part of the fam, extended fam of businesses. So, yes. Yep. Part of the village. Well, extended village and um, great camping spot. Um, part of Camp Luther, but also, you know, they do weddings up there. Yeah. Um, they they have places for you to rent and you can stay on the property or hang out in Houghton, whatever you want to do. Very cool. Yeah. Good stuff. No, I think we got it. I think that was a solid episode, right? right. We'll have either exciting or... Not, not exciting setting, news yeah. to share next week. So. And then we'll be quarter century. Yes. We'll be. I had to run the numbers. You didn't know what century meant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a baker's dozen. It's not. It's almost twice a baker's dozen. Yes. Got it. That'll be the show that after now, that. Thanks to uh, our informational segment. For yes. Our friends at Big the more Mark. you know, the more you know. I kind of like that. Yeah. I think we need to bring that back. That would. He had plenty of stuff he could correct me on every episode. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. He, I'm sure he could find something if he really wanted to. True. <laughs> Should we hit him with it? Let's hit him. Go Blizz. Go Blizz. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. Bye.